If you can mascara, you can false mascara. Bond step one, bonding time. Brush a light coat of bond on natural lashes. A little goes a long way. Step two, wisp under lashes. Use the included false mascara applicator to pluck a wisp from the tray. One by one, gently place the wisps underneath the base of your natural lashes, slightly away from the waterline. Uh, apply wisp starting from the outer corner towards inwards. Be sure to place wisps right next to each other. First thing, split immediately. Applicator to squeeze the wisps from the wisp to the applicator. Wisp to the Hey guys, it's Mads. Welcome back to my channel. I'm wearing this comfy robe that I got from Kohl's recently. I actually gifted one of these robes to my best friend for her birthday, so we actually have matching robes now. <laughs> I just finished doing my makeup, but I wanted to go ahead and try the fall scary lashes on camera with you guys. I don't know how it's gonna go. Probably not very well, <laughs> but I guess I'm like, I just want to try it. See how it goes. This is what it looks like. Um, so I'm supposed to brush on the bond first and then place the whip wisps underneath. But I'm wondering if I, I already curled my eyelashes a little bit. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to curl them more or not. My eyelashes are like pretty straight. I feel like I wanna just curl them a little bit. So I have to start from the outer corner of the lash line, working towards the inner, inner, <laughs> towards the inward. So there's a short, medium, and long. And then it comes with the little tweezers. Maybe the long ones go on the outer corner. I grabbed a short one. I think I just wanna use the short ones maybe. That's a short one, but maybe I want them to be a little longer. I ripped it. I think I like the medium size. This is a long one. I think the long one looks really nice, but there's like a little bit too much for me. <laughs> so I have to put on the bond first. It's really cool how it just like stuck and went into place really fast, but I don't feel like I put it on correctly. Okay, so I grabbed a little spoolie to like brush it out and I got some smudged on top. So far I really like it even though I probably didn't put it on correctly, but I think I want to put just a little bit more definitely. Like it says, a little goes a long way. Ow. Oh no, I put some on my contact. The only thing I don't like about this is that it's like mascara and I do not like mascara because it smudges. Okay, so I have to wipe this because there's product all over it. So we're gonna look up. Okay, it's not wanting to stick anymore. Oh my God, it's all clumped. I can't even brush them out now because it's all clumped. I'm gonna apply some to the wisp itself, not my my eyelashes. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the wand, the little tweezer, because it. So I have some alcohol spray here, um, because it's the bond is it's just sticking onto the the lash. The wisp just gets stuck on here, so I don't know if I can also wipe the eyelash. I want to try putting some of the bond onto the the wisp itself and just a little bit. So I'm putting some on the edge, closer to the edge of the wisp. Okay, so now I'm gonna go get closer to my mirror. That seemed to have worked a little better. So now I want to do that with um, one of the short ones. You have to keep cleaning the tweezer with some alcohol and I have a little wet napkin here. Before I put any bond on it, I wanna see what it's going to look like first. I think that should be fine. So I'm gonna do the same thing and put some of the bond onto the wisp. I think they're a little bit crooked, but maybe a lot crooked. I like how it looks though. So I think it's definitely better 
to put the bond onto the wisp itself and then just clean the tweezer every time you are going to apply a new wisp. I'm gonna use again a medium one on the outside. Put some bond on the wisp itself. Get close to your mirror. Okay, so I think it got a little bit darker in here. I think my left eye definitely came out a little bit better. I don't want to put one in the inner corner because I like how it looks. This eye looks like the eyelashes are gonna fall off and they're very crooked, but this one came out a lot neater. So I guess you just have to practice with practice. So that was a little bit difficult. I will definitely keep practicing it, but I really like how it looks. You can feel this one, it was already falling off. So, well, that didn't go as planned, you guys, but I will definitely keep practicing. I ended up taking them off because these were falling off and then they were kind of just making my eyes itchy. But um, if you guys have tried lash extensions or have gotten them tinted, please let me know what you guys recommend or how you guys like them. But that's all for now, you guys. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.